Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Stand By Me, okay? Uh, I'm going to do it a couple different ways. Uh, the original is in the key of E, uh, no, sorry, key of A, sorry. It's an A chord for two measures, or two uh, patterns. F sharp minor for two. D for one, E for one, and then A for two. That's, that's the whole song. It just keeps repeating that over and over again. I left out the bass part. I'll leave that to the bass players. Um, you know, the... Um, it, you run out of room on the guitar because you can't go down to that low D when you go to the D chord. Uh, so I just, I just left it off. You can go up an octave if you want, but uh, it was uh, too much bother, so I didn't do it. All right. Uh, a chord, 4th string, 2nd fret, 3rd string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 2nd fret. I'm going to mute the 6th string. That's my A chord. And what I'm going to do is do the um, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so... Down, down, up, up, down, up. And I'm going to do two patterns of that on the A. Then I'm going to bar the whole 2nd fret. And I'm going to hold down the 5th and 4th string at the 4th fret. That's an F sharp minor chord. Uh, if, you, if you can't do bar chords or you'd rather uh, an easier version, just fast forward halfway through this video, I do it in the key of G, okay? And so it's much easier. All right, so F sharp minor, but I wanted to do the original first. So F sharp minor, um, two patterns on that, and then a D chord for only one pattern. That's the third and second string first, uh, second fret, and then second string third fret. I'm going to be in the sixth string. One pattern on that. Uh, if you hear anything and you don't see it, Heidi is laying right at my feet and she's, uh, I don't know what she's doing with her mouth there. So, she's uh, <laughs> yawning or something. Ooh, you okay, Heidi? So you got your D chord. Uh, you're going to do one pattern. And then the E chord, 5th and 4th string is 2nd fret, 3rd string 1st fret. One pattern on that, and then you're back to your A chord for two patterns. Okay? So, she must be hurting. Alright, so A for two. F sharp minor for two. D chord for one. E chord for one. A for two. And that's it. That's the whole song. Okay? Uh, now let's see what John Lennon did to it. Okay, for uh, John Lennon covered Stand By Me, and I believe, I can't remember, but I think he probably put a capo at the second fret. Okay? So he's still in the, still ended up in the key of A. But he, he's using G shapes. So 6th uh, string 3rd fret, 5th string 2nd fret, 2nd and 1st string at the 3rd fret. Okay? So that's your G chord, and that's in relationship to the capo with the 2nd fret. Okay? So you got a G for two patterns, and then an E minor for two patterns. C for one, D for one, and then G for two. That's the whole song. So the E minor, what I did was, um, by creating the G chord like this, I just pivot on my first finger. I leave that on the 5th string 2nd fret, and then I put the 4th string 2nd fret down. That's my E minor chord. You can strum everybody on that one. And then by having my E minor like that, my middle finger can stay on the 4th string 2nd fret. And then I can pivot on that and 5th string 3rd fret, 2nd string 1st fret. That's a C chord. I'm going to get rid of the 6th string. One pattern on that, and then the D chord is the third and the first string second fret, second string third fret. Mute the sixth string definitely on that one. One pattern on that, and then back to the G chord for two. Okay, so that's the whole thing. So it's uh, when when the night G chord. Okay? If you'd like to get fancy, you could do a passing note between the G and the E minor is cool. 
Uh, I'm not sure what the strum would be. Let's see. Uh, it's in the second pattern on the G, so I'll just play it. So let's try and figure out what I did. So I did one pattern just the way on the G when you first start. It's down, down, up, up, down, up. And then the second pattern, I'm going to cut it short. I'm going to go down, down, up, probably up. And then I'm going to switch, take these two fingers off, leave these two fingers down there, and grab the um, sixth string, second fret, and then kind of just hit that in passing. It sounds horrible by itself, but in passing it sounds cool. Um, you could either do a down or just a down, up, and then break to the E minor. So fast it would be... second time I did it down up on it. Okay, hopefully you can catch on to that. Uh, that's Stand By Me. I wish there was more, but there's not. Uh, there is that cool bass line in it, but uh, we'll leave that to the bass players. Okay, thanks for watching. And that just, the whole song just keeps doing that for the whole song. That's why it's great. Okay, please subscribe. Uh, thank you, John Lennon, for that version. And uh, play more guitar.